What's good? It's your boy Fanon. Just got up uh, doing a later night video today. Hope everything's well with all the subscribers. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon uh, so you can be notified when we drop more videos. Just got a treat that I ran into. Fight Hype, Fight Hype actually released a video showing a bunch of tweets between Abner Mares, Gervonta Davis, Adrian Bronner. Uh, about a fight that was talked about by Floyd Mayweather Jr. And you'll be able to see the uh, image that was released on Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s Instagram about a G Gervonta Tank Davis fighting Abner Mares. And if that's the case, man, I am really, really excited, man. I think that will be a great, great, great bout. Abner Mars is a good is a good fighter. Um, and Gervonta Davis, I've done uh, videos about that in the last week or so, I think Gervonta Davis is, is one of the more talented fighters in boxing. And at just 23 years old, he's won the IBF 130-pound championship. He's won the WBA 130-pound uh, championship. And I was thinking that he was going to face uh, Tevin Campbell next to unify. But Gervonta Davis... Uh, well, Floyd May when Floyd Mayweather talks about him fighting Abner Mares, that would be a good fight as well, man. That would be a good re name on his resume. Is a very experienced boxer who just got done losing to in a good fight to Leo Santa Cruz at 126 pounds. I know that that uh, Abner Mares, I believe Abner Mar Mares talked about facing Gervonta Davis before he had lost to. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz. So, hey man, that sounds like a good deal. Uh, the I can't show the thing is disappointing though, because I'm not going to show the tweets that went back and forth. It's like, man, Adrian Bronner and Javante Davis. God, man, things leave their mouth that just does not do, do not have to. You know, they went back and forth talking with Abner Mares about uh, you know burritos and things like that, and it's like. Is that necessary? You know, that's just completely unnecessary and it's childish. Uh, so, you know, that's like I said, I'll, you, I'll, I'll just show this one from Floyd Mayweather that just had the date on it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to share the one with um, between Adrian Bronner because Adrian Bronner, as usual, putting his foot in the mouth, his, his mouth, you know, just saying a bunch of crap that it doesn't need to be said, man. It's more than enough. It's more than enough for Adrian for Javante Davis actually get in the ring and knock out Abner Mares, as it is to talk crazy and say things like they said on their inst on that on those. Uh, I th I think it might have been tweet Twitter that they exchanged, but whatever the case, man, it's just it's just uncalled for. And you know, of all the things that um, the one thing that I I mean, actually, I don't think that Adrian Bronner is rubbing off on. On uh, Javante Davis in that in that regard, I think it's just you know it's Javante Davis's personality as well. But you know, just come on, man, with all the burrito nonsense, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, a, it's more than enough for the guy to get in there and win the fight. But that said, talking about the fight, Abner Mars, I think is tailor made, man. He's tailor made for Javante Davis, and Abner Mars is going to get hurt. I know Abner Mars is getting trained now by Robert Garcia, but. I mean, if he if Abner Mars fights the same fight that he did against Leo Santa Cruz, man, I don't see this. This fight's not going to go five rounds. Javante Davis is going to knock the is going to knock Abner Mars' head clear off his shoulders and four ring rounds, uh, four rows back. If he sits there and tries to exchange and trade with Abner Mar with with Javante Davis, Javante Davis is bigger than him. He's stronger than him. He's faster than them. He hits harder than he does. He's got better defense than he does. I mean, his hooks to, I mean, he's, he might, oh man, he's just going to break this dude off something ugly, man. <laughs> he's going to break out. He's going to break off Abner Mara or something ugly, but he'll have a big name on his resume for doing it. And it'll be interesting to see Abner Mars doesn't have a shaky chin. Uh, not since he got knocked out by Johnny Gonzalez <laughs> back in 2013. I think it was the last knockout. I think that Abner Mars is, um, I think he only has three losses. And the three losses, I'm pretty sure, were two 
uh, to Leo Santa Cruz and one to Johnny Gonzalez. But he got it was a first round knockout to Johnny Gonzalez. Knocked out, yeah, that's right, knocked down twice in the first round uh, and out by uh, Johnny Gonzalez back in 2013. And I do believe that was at his first bout at 126 pounds. I think before that, he was fighting down at 122 uh, against what he did. He beat Moreno, and then he fought Ponce de Leon in his first fight at 126, and then got knocked out by Johnny Gonzalez. <laughs> Something ugly. Went on a win streak, then lost to Leo Santa Cruz back in 2015. Went on a little, another little mini win streak. Actually, he fought uh, Quaylar too. Now they got a common opponent in Jesus uh, Quaylar, uh, who Abner is one beat by United, by a split decision. So that's their common opponent. I don't know if there's any other opponents that they both have. Uh, together, but uh, yeah, the uh, Jesus Quaylar was the is a common opponent, and uh, Quaylar took uh, <laughs> took Abner Mar as the distance and got absolutely ran through by Javante Davis. So, you know, anyway, man, it's it's that is a no, it cannot miss fight. The if uh, from what I heard or at least what I saw, they're talking about the October time frame in Los Angeles. So that should be a good that's man another good fight, man. Another it's that's the big the big plus of the PBC, man, is that they have a lot of good fights that can be made definitely within that 100 um and 26, 130 pound range uh with Leo Santa Cruz Abner Mares, Gervonta Davis, and hopefully soon uh, Guillermo Rigondeau, uh, who had just signed with Luis de Cuba. Hopefully he'll also be down uh, with the PBC too. Maybe that's at 122. I don't know if he'll stay at 122 or I'll go to 126, but I'm sure the fight that he, uh, Guillermo Rigondeau would would like the most is the Leo Santa Cruz fight. But Leo Santa Cruz don't want none of Guillermo Rigondeau. Uh, That's a bad matchup for him and more than likely he's going to lose and get his backside and get his and get put on his backside if if not just straight out, you know, outpointed. But hey man, I'm excited. And now as far as uh, Gervonta Davis goes, you know, this is, uh, I think this would be, this is obviously not as stiff a test as the uh, fight that Loma, that uh, the last fight that Floyd Mayweather talked about making with Gervonta Davis, which was Vasily Lomachenko. Now, this is a big change. Uh, this is a big change in tune. <laughs> now he's looking, instead of moving up in weight to uh, fight somebody that's up at 135 pounds, uh, now he's getting somebody who is coming off of a loss who has lost three out of their last eight fights, I do believe, Abner Mars. <laughs> so Abner, Abner Mars has to be, at this point in time in his career, considered a little shopworn, but he's a big name. So, you know, he'll get a chance to get his uh, to get a big name on his resume. But other than that, you know, that's all that's going to be. That's all that's going to be. Because it's not a, I don't even know if I really consider this to be you know, uh, a competitive fight, man. I mean, I know that Le- I know that Abner Mars is a good boxer, but Abner Mars, Abner Mar- Abner Mars likes to fight, man. <laughs> Abner Mars likes to fight, just like with Leo Santa Cruz, man. Those guys were throwing all those hands that those guys were throwing between Abner Mars and Leo Santa Cruz, and if that dude tries, oh man, oh my God, it's not gonna go. Like I said, it's not going to go five rounds. If he's got to do something different, man, he's going to have to change his game plan. He's going to have to try to box. But even if he tries to box, I just see him getting countered just viciously. The body shots are just vicious. Gervonta Davis against a guy that's fighting it at 126 pounds, five foot four and a half with a six and 66 inch reach, which means that he's just right there. For Javante Davis, man, 
man, that does not look good. That doesn't look good. But anyway, I'm amped about it, man. So shout out to Floyd uh, Mayweather for at least making, you know, making an exciting fight with somebody, you know, who who's a who's a known name, uh, which is a little bit different than the last few fights with Javante Davis. Well, actually, except for Jose Pedraza, I think every everybody, you know, um, yeah, I think everybody. Jose Pedraza, yeah, Jose Francisco Fonseca, Louis, uh, Liam Walsh, uh, yeah, this is going to be the biggest. That'll probably it'll be the biggest name on Guillermo, on um, Javante Davis's resume, and it's going to get on his resume just like the last. Uh, when's the last time he went the distance? Back in 2014. So what is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve straight knockouts for Javante Davis. Kind of lucky number thirteen knockouts for Abner Morris for uh, for Javante Davis over Abner Morris. But anyway, with that, I'm out. Peace.